Hey, this is Kenny from Kenny's How You File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. In this video, I'm going to take up a difficult topic, one that I really don't have a definitive answer for. And I thought about this for quite some time. Um, and that is, why aren't there more women and minorities uh, in the um, audiophile world? And to a lesser degree, the record collecting uh, world as well. When I watch these videos on YouTube with audio files, there are some, I do see some minorities. I do see some African, African Americans uh, do videos. It's just not a lot of them. It's very little. Uh, both my parents are black, so I'm African American and proud of it. But I don't see a lot of women and um, African Americans and minorities in general doing YouTube videos. Back in the day when I used to go shopping for stereo equipment, you know, in the late 70s, throughout the 80s and 90s, I didn't see a lot, hardly any women, and I didn't see hardly any African Americans buying high end audio gear. And that's the question I'm posing in this video. Now, this topic can be a little bit, um, you know, uncomfortable for some, you know, uh, when you talk about race and stuff like that. But I, I thought I would bring it up. Um, I had a conversation. Oh, before I get to uh, the, my conversation with my wife, I was watching a YouTube video of um, some, someone else's channel. I forgot who it was. And he was interviewing the uh, high-profile audiophile on YouTube. His name, he, he goes by the Audiophiliac. And they, they were talking about diversity in the uh, audiophile world. And I don't know if they came up with a, a, a definitive answer in terms of the lack of diversity in the audiophile world. Um, and I had a conversation with my, my wife on one of our morning walks. It was a couple of days ago as of the filming of this video. And I asked her, why, do, why do, does she think there's not a lot of women in the audiophile world? And she really didn't have anything necessarily concrete and definitive to say. I wanted to have her on this video, but because of her, um, like I said, because she didn't have anything more uh, of substance, substance to say, you know, uh, she decided not to be part of this video because she didn't, thought, she didn't think she was going to add any... Uh, uh, quality or um, substance to it. So, uh, so I understand that. But she did give me this. She said perhaps women are taught to do more feminine things when they're younger and that, you know, translates into their future lives. Um, I think when we are young, women, young girls, you know, are taught feminine things. They're taught you know, they start playing with dolls, Barbie dolls, and boys are playing with trucks, army tanks, hot wheels, and things like that. Model kits, as you see. I'm going to get to those in a second. Um, but we're taught maybe more to be more masculine and girls to be more feminine. And then I thought even further, being an audiophile, has nothing whatsoever per se to being masculine or feminine because after all almost all of us love music and being an audiophile we're trying to reproduce music in the highest fidelity possible for our listening pleasure and enjoyment that ha to me has nothing to do with your sexual orientation it has nothing to do with your race it's just the enjoyment of, of music but for some reason, uh, women, and in my case, African Americans, I'm black, and I, I know the African American world fairly well. I guess women and African Americans, maybe other minorities, prior, prioritize other things in life. I don't think it has anything to do with economics or money. And here's the reason why. African Americans buy homes. African Americans buy cars. African Americans buy PlayStations, they buy, buy Air Jordan shoes, so the money is there. It's just what 
people or segments of the society chooses to prioritize. And like I say, say I say this because when I watch these YouTube channels, the YouTubers, I don't see a lot of African Americans. You know, there's some other minorities, but not not a lot of African Americans. And when I used to do my go to stereo uh, shops and uh, high end gear shops in the seventies, eighties, nineties, I didn't see a lot of African Americans there or women. And also that um, I think it's called uh, Exponier or something like that. That uh, hi fi show that's going on ch in Chicago. As of the, I think the date of this video or the posting of this video, I saw a uh, seminar, a lecture by the again the YouTuber uh, goes by the Audiophiliac, and they pan the audience during a Q and A session, during one of the videos, and it was pride, predominantly uh, men, and I think I saw maybe I don't know one two three women in the audience. There was hardly any, and I didn't see any African Americans in, in the audience at all. But like I said, maybe it's a function of what we, certain cultures, certain races prioritize. I don't know. And maybe women, maybe they prioritize other things as well. But I, like I said, I understand it because un music is universal. Everybody loves music. So, and from that point of view, I don't understand. But like I said, we're taught as ch children, boys are taught to be more masculine and women more feminine. And I think maybe boys at a younger age like to tinker with things. And maybe being an audiophile it is an extension of our childhood. As you see these model kits in the background, I still love model kits. And I'm 62 years old as of the filming of this video. I still love, I don't know if some of you are old enough to remember slot cars. I still love slot car racing. And maybe that is an extension of my childhood. And maybe this audio gear that I have in my room is an extension of my childhood as well. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have any definitive answers as to why minorities and women aren't in our are audio. More of them aren't audio files. Uh, I just, I, I just simply don't know. So maybe you out there can uh, put in your opinion. You know, like I said, in terms of the race issue, maybe it's a cultural thing and maybe certain races are into other things and their money goes to other things than um, being an audiophile. I know when we, when we bring race into a conversation, things can get kind of, um, people can say some things that in their heart of heart, hearts. They're not trying to sound racist, but it can come across as racist, even though they don't mean it to be that way. So when you bring up race in these conversations, it can be kind of a sticky conversation. So I can understand that some of you, if you want to stay away from that topic. Um, in terms of the sexual orientation thing, in terms of whether men or women, um, why are more women in, in the audiophile game? Um, I don't know, maybe some of you women can answer that question. You know, I know there's some uh, women out there that will have a high profile presence on YouTube. I know Melinda Murphy, uh, she has an awesome channel. Um, and she's a record collector. She has a nice stereo setup. I've seen it in some of her videos. And it could be some more. So maybe the women aspect of the audiophile world is growing. And maybe the minority... Um, population in terms of being an audiophile is bigger than I think it is and maybe they just don't have a, a strong YouTube uh, presence but leave your uh, comments in the comment section below thank you very much for viewing my video God bless strong love and peace to all